The interactive chart for childhood diseases developed by IRD in Karachi, Pakistan is demonstrated in this video. Poor healthcare and poor diagnosis of childhood diseases is a problem in most of the developing world, particularly in rural areas due to the lack of trained personnel, resources and infrastructure. IRD in Pakistan has found a solution for overcoming these limitations with the use of RFID technology, a cell phone, and the World Health Organization's IMCI guidelines represented visually in a chart. IMCI or Integrated Management of Childhood Illness are WHO approved guidelines for reducing child mortality, illness and disability, and to promote improved growth and development among children under 5 years of age. In this demo, the interactive chart for childhood diseases has visual cues, each linked to an RFID tag. These will visually guide the health worker to ask specific questions of the patient, irrespective of language or literacy levels. Each image on the chart can now be scanned as an input value into the mobile phone. An NFC-enabled Nokia cell phone with an RFID reader is used to interact with the IMCI decision support sheet. Every RFID tag on the chart has a specific code that uniquely identifies that image on the chart. When the cell phone's RFID reader is held close to the surface of the IMCI decision support sheet, it scans the RFID tag located behind that image and is thus able to identify the image. This begins an interactive process where the health worker is taken through a series of diagnostic steps using the cell phone chart combination. The health worker using the application is also prompted to fix possible mistakes. These input validation checks are pre-coded into the application. For example, the cell phone will detect and warn against input errors such as invalid patient temperature range, invalid age, and so on. When the cell phone reaches a diagnosis, an alert pops up on the screen. In this case, the health worker is informed that their patient has severe pneumonia or another serious disease and that they should prescribe an appropriate amount of antibiotic. Once a module has been completed, the health worker can upload the patient information, the diagnosis reached, and the medicines prescribed to a remote server via GPRS. This allows the information to be collected for later analysis by researchers and program managers. By using such RFID-enabled charts and low-cost cell phones with IMCI guidelines, we can reduce child mortality and improve child well-being with very little expenditure. It is hence a cost-effective intervention in such low-resource, low-literacy settings around the world. While this prototype has been developed as proof of concept and has been used here as a potential health intervention, we believe this technology will find application across diverse fields and in many different settings across the world.